All right, guys, welcome back to the This Is Much More podcast. I'm Evelyn, and my handsome co host is Roly Vogues. And our special guest today is Argelio Padilla, but you can call me Saint Padilla. Wait, what's your name? Argelio Padilla. Argelio? Argelio. Yeah. Huh. And how did you go? F- I'm already our, going into the way. Already going first, into before first. we start, <laughs> they're going to take a shot. Okay. Yeah, yeah me and Rolly agreed that we were going to take a shot together. Yeah, I, I was, was only going to take one if you took one, and yeah. we're here now, bro. And I wasn't going to take one. But then she's like, oh, you're going to do it. And then I I, I was like, yeah, Yeah, take one with me, bro. (laughs) So here we are. And then, you know know how you said about Mariana? Yeah. She bought these shot glasses. Did she? Yeah, Yeah, she did. Shout out, Mariana. I love your episode. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) (laughs) This is just me here casually drinking. What are you drinking? Water and tequila. Why are you drinking water and tequila? I've never heard of that combo before. Really? Water and tequila? Well, I had a... Uh, with pico? pico, it was uh, water and Tito's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, it was not that bad. It was actually very refreshing. But I had to put limon, like, you know, so... Yeah. Just, I don't think we have Tito's anymore, so... Whatever. This will do. So, let's get into it. You said your name was Argelio. Yes, um... Argelio Padilla, just like my grandfather and my dad. Uh, so you're the third. I'm the third. Argelio Padilla, the third. Um, as a young, I think I was like, okay, so I think like 10 years old, nine years old. Mm-hmm. I went to like uh, this whitish middle school and <laughs> half the people could say my name. They were like butchering it so bad. They were like, Ar- Argelio or yeah. I think the worst one I've ever gotten was like our or Galio, or maybe that was a, jo- or maybe that was a joke. That yeah. I don't know. But he said, "I don't know if it was a joke. I don't know or if not. it was a joke or not. You know, maybe they're talking shit about me." But um, no, so um, until this one, this one girl, her name was Serena. I remember she was like, "I'm not gonna call you that. I'm gonna call you RJ." And then I was like, "Cool, call me RJ." RJ sticked around for a little bit, and we, you know, some behaviors took me here and there, and. I was like doing bad stuff when I was younger, and like you I, would skip class and stuff. A little more bad than that, but we'll, we'll go ahead and yeah. add that. You know, um, <laughs> so you know, um, yeah, yeah. I stopped doing all that. I I was like, fuck it, I'm not doing that anymore. And someone was like, what? Like, yeah, yeah, it's Antito, okay. And I was ah! like, that that sticked around, you know. Yeah, so yeah. it mm-hmm. went as the saint, as my you know, um, my profile as the saint. Mm-hmm. And then I just changed it to Saint Padilla. And that's my so called stage name. You know, yeah. that's what everybody calls me when we do the interviews. Or every, every time I meet a new person, I'm like, hey, you know, nice to meet you. My name's Saint. My Chick fil A orders are Saint now. My, <laughs> like, oh my, you oh know my what? Orders. It's so crazy because um, when I told him, when we talked about like having like our son, like our next baby, you know, mm-hmm. baby number two, uh, if it was to be a boy, we wanted the name. Uh, santos or santi right yeah santi uh-huh but it's like uh i was like i was i like santos you know but it's saint in english too. yeah so whenever we we did your episode i was like oh it's crazy because he's saying and if you know but we weren't we're not gonna do santi anymore because we yeah. already have a santi. Damn. <laughs> did you ever did you ever get the you got served references because there was a character you, you seen you got served i haven't you haven't seen that no Nah, you remember you got started, I'm about to get yeah. fucking I'm about to get a lot the chill wait nah. oh because he's young okay yeah, I'm yeah, not okay I'm not kid. okay well I'm not that young well I'm okay, young how old I'm are young you? Tell okay them. I'm 22 years old you're okay. young I'm young but <laughs> trust me like I I know a lot of old stuff you know and it's like when it comes to like old music you know and old shows mm-hmm. I'm all into it you know I'm into the old classic cars I'm into all that you know a lot of people now they're used to you know what like little yachty young mm-hmm. nutty and all that like i'm not you know i'm into metallica and i'm into all those other stuff yeah. you know but yeah a lot of people don't don't so see that what year yeah. what 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 year were you born then 99. Like, 99 so i can't call myself a 90s baby because okay. everybody gets mad for some I was like, reason no yeah. like my brother okay my brother my brother is like november 1999 yeah okay november that's a month before 2000, 2000. so yeah. he's like He's like, I'm a 90s kid. I'm like, you ain't no 90s kid, bro. Just because you were 99, like literally a month before 2000s, mm-hmm. like doesn't make you. He's like, yeah, but I grew up with you. So I know all the stuff, you know. And I was like, I, I mean, he does, you know, but. Wait, so what month are you? I'm July. I'm July. Might as well be July 23rd. I'm over here asking <laughs> you, personal. You, you guys want to send me something? That's perfectly fine. To so all the horoscope females, you know, go ahead and do the horoscope birth charts. Um, July 23rd. 
1999. Oh, That's the okay. first day of a Leo. So the Lion King plays a very big part in my life because the Lion King, the yeah. Leo, or whatever. You, you got the you got the whole mane going on. So. Yeah, I got the whole thing uh-huh. going on. You know, take a shower, it dries up. I got the whole lion hair going on. And yeah. I was asking what day because my son he's in July too. What day? What July seven. July seven. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, but well, he's a 2018 baby. Yeah. Oh my yeah, brother. Futuristic. Uh-huh. My brother's July fifth. Oh, so okay. This is like right there. And you know how mm. I said we have a Santi in the family. Mm-hmm. His birthday is July six. Oh wow! Yeah, so he's literally the day before. Uh, oh, Milo. The Milo, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. But um, but yeah, if y'all want to send him a a gift, we all are more than welcome to. <laughs> yeah, and real fast, like, cause you say you you know a bunch of like the, a bunch of the old stuff and everything. When I was talking to Terry, I was like, it's crazy because the kids now, what they see, I guess like let's say like, man, it's so crazy. You're 99, bro. Like. Cause like ninety two, ninety I was born ninety two, right? But mm-hmm. then obviously I don't know shit until like I'm old enough to, let's say I'm five, so that's ninety seven. But before that, like I was already watching like certain cartoons and shit like that. Oh, oh, oh that's a it? fucking fly! No, it's over there. Oh, no, um, he's, it's gonna be bothering him now. Man, <laughs> I'm, I'm a fly killer, bro. Yeah, he is. But then, um, so a lot of the stuff that we grew up with, do you look at that like? super old or do you just see it like it's like well no he said he likes to do he likes to you know like the old school stuff yeah not not at all i um i see it as normal you know i i think i would say just normal stuff you know Mm -hmm. i i know my siblings don't see it as old stuff either because like i play a bunch of like ice cube or nwa on the car for them that's normal you know Mm -hmm. but it's just, I guess, the new yeah. generation. Because you know how you know, kids I are like, man, I, I never even heard of Tupac or or I don't know a Tupac song and all this shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to get rid of that fly. But then what? You were going to say what? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, how did it even get in? But I I, the garage door was open. Mm-hmm. Sorry. No, this is the first, the first episode we have a fly. <laughs> we have a no, special guest. <laughs> now I'm looking for it, aren't I? I don't know, babe. But don't worry about it. All right. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, I was gonna say that um, I don't feel like my siblings look at that either. Okay. As like you know, but it's not like they're like around that, and because I would play it, but it's I was always so busy, so they weren't like always with me, you know. Um, but I don't think I think it'll be random stuff. Well, my little brother would be like, "Damn, maybe you're old," you know, and I'm just like, "Damn, I'm barely 27," like, yeah. you know. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I do feel old because he's barely getting started with his life, you know, like. Yeah, and then you know what else is crazy? I was just talking to my brother, right? And um, and I'm like, you know what's crazy, bro? I'm like, um, growing up, like you you start telling your parents like, oh, oh, pa, uh, you know, on Snapchat, da, 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 this, this, and that. And he'll be like, what's Snapchat? Like, and he's just like, I don't know what the fuck is Snapchat, you know? And then I'm like, I'm, I'm about to be 30, right? And I'm already, I feel like I'm already getting to that point, but I, I feel young, you know? But I feel like I'm getting to that point where, and I pictured, I told I told my brother, I pictured Melody, our niece. I picture her coming up to me and being like, Dio, uh, do you play Roadblocks? And I'm like, and I'm like, what the fuck is Roadblox? Or That's what it's called, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah. like, I don't know what that is. Like, it's and just I, like a game. Yeah. And I told my brother, I'm like, I, don't, I have never seen it. I, I don't know what it is. And then he's like, you don't know Roadblox? You're old, bro. And I'm like, honestly, I feel like it would, now it's that situation with me where I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is, you know? And I feel, I literally picture our niece being like, you don't know what that is? What the she heck? She would like, call you straight up old. Yeah, yeah, she would, you know? <laughs> but it's it's wild, and, yeah. you know what I mean? No, but I think, like, uh, like <clears throat> you, you, I feel like, like you said, you like the old school stuff. Um, I feel like that with me, but more with Spanish related stuff. Okay. Like Spanish music. Like, like that Yankee and all that, like back in the, I'm pretty sure that, oh, yeah. that she, Yankee she isn't that sh- old, but no, um, before but him, right? Even before oh, him, yeah. yeah. Like I listen to like cumbias that are like from like back in the day type of cumbias, mm-hmm. you know, uh, just like, just like Spanish music is more my thing. Yeah. Like old school, like, oh, some old school bachatas are like it uh, for Azules, It's right there, really. Just yeah, fucking kill it, bro. All right, hold on. We'll see how fast Rolly is. Oh my Damn, God. I, I don't have my tool. Ready? Do it with your hand. I can't you see it. it. It's like, okay. 12 degrees south. <laughs> Just, oh, it's on the it's, fucking... Oh. oh my God. 
I thought it was on my leg. No, I was like, no. fuck. Yeah. It's right on the camera. I'm about to smack the shit out of that I'm camera. I'm going to be laughing. The only way I would pause this episode. If, if it gets on the, on the lens, lens yeah. that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, I get Okay. Damn, I almost had to. Uh, I, I honestly thought it was right here, so I was like, oh, gonna wait, be like, wait, 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 don't move. Now nah, you're lying. No, it's right there. But I don't want to smack oh, the it mic. Oh, it is. Wait, is there, is there two? two? No, it's not over there anymore. Okay. No. I don't know. I don't know. Here. You better not hit me. Oh, you hit me. Oh, you're hitting me. <laughs> My bad. Okay. I was trying to get it. It's right there. Okay. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Fuck go it. ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. my God. Sorry, Welcome back guys. to that. Like, I'm going I'm to I'm just cut it out. No, you're okay. good. <laughs> Where is it? It's right there by the, by the, by the, the bottle. Oh, you got nice. it. <laughs> Are you sure it's not the same one? It's the same one. Wiggle, wiggle that light. This one, just wiggle it. Yeah, it was the same one. It's the same one. Or, I saw it like flying. Is it a seventeen dollar hat? Black water. <laughs> I just swatted a fly on with a seventy dollar on hat. the pod with a seventeen dollar hat. We're just gonna like black that out. <laughs> nah, let's keep it. All you right. will fuck it, you know. Uh, so we have a murderer on the on the episode today. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I was saying like I like like stuff like that. Um, not too much English, you know? Like, I'll listen to, like, Tupac, you know, whatever. SPM. I don't think that's, like, that old. But, no, it's you know, not. Yeah. Like that. I'm trying to think, like... Um, you're trying to go old. I know you're trying to. You're trying yeah, to challenge me. Yeah, but it's just, like... No, no, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I'm not big on music, you know, which is mm-hmm. so crazy. But I'm big in Spanish music, not English music. Angeles so. Azules type of deal. Oh, yeah. Like, my yeah. son, when he was a baby, his favorite song was an Los Angeles Azules song. He would fall asleep to it. Which one? Uh, well, that one's not too old. It's Nunca es, su- Nunca es Suficiente. Suficiente. Uh-huh. Yeah. That one's more recent. <laughs> that's you know? yeah. Banger. Yeah. That's a banger. <laughs> that is a banger. <laughs> a banger. Like, no. literally, he would fall asleep to... That was his lullaby. Literally, right? Mm-hmm. We would play that. Yeah. And then I played it, like, yesterday. You know, I told you we did the pupusas. And I was mm-hmm. tired. And he was with me all day. And then, literally, on the way from my mom's, it was, like, 8.30. And I played that song. And I know that he knows that song, you know. And he knocked out. Like I told, I called him. I'm like, oh my god, he knocked out to the song again. Like we hadn't played it for him. Like you know, which is crazy. Good. It's a, it's it's a really good song, and it makes you you know get up moving and dancing. <laughs> yeah. And shit. yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that's really crazy. But yeah, like yeah, I think I'm more Spanish. He's yeah. overall English and right. Yeah. So what about you? Like, do you feel like you're well educated, or do you have the knowledge of like more in the music side or film, or just overall like everything? Or what do you think? Oh, I did of everything i'm okay i would i would say a little bit of everything um i love music mm. I, w- I can listen to anything except for k-pop i can't do k-pop um <laughs> but i can listen to anything yeah i'm the type to uh be like this song was sampled from this fucking song you know Ooh, you, i like you, watching right. those TikToks. yeah Me too. Well, that's the thing is like i think i know a lot of songs where it's like i don't even have to listen or watch to the tiktok i'm just automatically like listen to this Mm-hmm. And sometimes they're not even confirmed, you know, like throw an example out there, Bad Bunny, uh, uh, Escabron Serio, or I forgot what it was called with mm-hmm. Anuel. That song samples a song from uh, Super Mario when you're fighting Bowser and it's not even out there. But if you put both songs together, you'll be like, yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. And then I, I feel proud because of that moment, yeah. you know? No, yeah. Because I, I had a moment with that, with, uh, with a uh, Carol G, remember the one that goes da 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 oh, da yeah, da yeah. Uh-huh. da, and I was like, man, she sampled that shit. I even went on on sample dot com or yeah, or, try to find or, it. Or, yeah, I forgot what the website's called, but uh, or who sampled it or some shit like that, and I could not find it. And then I think it was that song. I want to say, and then it was my tia Juani remember oh yeah and then she she's, and i was like man there's this song and i know she sampled it from somewhere mm-hmm. and then um and she's like you know what i'm gonna ask uh, betito our her son right so my cousin and then uh but he's younger he's like i don't know how old he is now like he was i think he's gonna be 16 or yeah, yeah. so he, yeah he's young and he's like oh it's it's this song boom and then i looked it up i'm like boom like that's a fucking song but it's like that's not out there either yeah but it's just i catch shit like that too you know i'm very i'm very big on like dude like when i listen to music i I, like i 
dissect it. You yeah. know what I mean? No, yeah, I love doing Bro. that, especially uh, with the new Dolby Atmos mode on uh, Apple Music, where it's like apparently the whole like song gets new details out there, or whatever. Mm-hmm. They add new little beats. I can point that out and be like, "Look, listen to this. Mm-hmm. That shit's crazy. They just changed that." And then usually to my girlfriend, which you f- I, I can tell she hates when I do it. I pause the music, <laughs> listen to it, yeah. play it again. But yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's all it's crazy because I do nothing music related, you know, which mm-hmm. I want to. That's something I yeah. want to get into. But I think I'm more in the music side, good yeah. at it than film, which mm-hmm. is crazy because I, I do film and I do photography and all that shit. Yeah. What would you like to get into the music stuff? probably not sing because i can't sing for shit probably <laughs> probably make beats because um i have i have friends who do that um mm-hmm. you know I sometimes i get invited to like the studio or whatever or their little home studio and i see them work on it and it's just so interesting to me you know yeah. like i i wish i could do that mm-hmm. i want to have the time but i don't have the time because i'm busy doing other stuff i love it i love what i do but if i had the chance i would probably yeah. learn more in the music stuff so then if you know more music why did you pick film i picked film because um originally i wanted to do like movies and shit mm. and i think i was like 10 years old 10 years old i was in a bunk bed and then i opened up netflix um the walking dead mm-hmm. came out uh-huh. watched it i loved it because it wasn't just a zombie show. It was like drama. It was yeah. real life problems in like a survival, zombie. Survival yeah. mode. Yeah. For real. Yeah. So it's like survival mode. But girl over here is cheating on, you know, homeboy with some other guy. <laughs> yeah. And she's pregnant, you know. So um, with his best friend. With his best friend. Wow. So I'm assuming you watched the show, right? Oh, that's yeah, we've fucking seen big it, yeah. fan. So yeah. that seeing that as a 10 year old, you know, it makes you like, damn, I want to do something like that. You yeah. know, so growing up, you know. I think we have like a film out there on YouTube. I don't even want to put it out there. It's like in someone else's <laughs> channel. We were we were 14, 13 years old where my voice is like cracking to the point. Yeah. You know, where it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? And we, we were doing like some survival bullshit. And um, I think I just loved it. Even though I would watch it right now and I would cringe out. Yeah. But I would, I would love it. I would enjoy it because, I don't know, it's just the art. The, I know the yeah. time it takes, the just everything about it yeah. you just connect to it yeah you know I she, has, she has a video like that too. yeah i have a video like that and too. i have a video like that too i just <laughs> came across were... mine i just saw mine oh the, the from u of h oh you did yeah oh where where'd you see i'm it? like i have a girlfriend in the film and everything mm-hmm. that ass i know babe i was with you we were together well, she oh, wasn't a girlfriend but i wasn't the girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> no he's like i had a girlfriend i, had a girlfriend I know and you're, i could see you're just, oh, i know like i know i was with you when you would, you were telling me the whole line oh that's crazy <laughs> yeah that's crazy. i have one too but mine was like a halloween murder one mm-hmm. and i remember that i was i was the girl that they killed yeah. you know on the <laughs> fucking episode or whatever and i remember that uh, we were at mason park you know where that's at no oh because he's you're from up from north you've uh, always north. lived where you live right like on, on that, that side, side or no most yeah yeah, yeah i yeah. have yeah oh, okay. okay so there's like this park right like you know down you know over here and in it's, the southeast it's, yeah it's mason park right it's like a big known park and um, apparently not known enough <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that park uh we went there we were in ninth grade and uh i remember that they were like pretend he's gonna <laughs> kill you or something you know and i'm like oh my god this is so funny like i can't get like into character you know yeah. and then i'm like i'm just gonna scream and they're like okay that's fine right and i had the camera right on my face right because i was gonna pretend you know that mm-hmm. he had killed me or whatever and one of my friends had actually pulled me like me jalo los pies so it genuinely scared me so on the video sale like me screaming genuinely like yeah. scared porque they had like done that they're like perfect but they didn't tell me they were gonna do that it was just so like, they can get like a good reaction or yeah. whatever <laughs> but i was in acting too in like one of the high schools or whatever i was in acting like theater and i would practice my lines with roland right babe yeah. But Roland's always been a really good. I just can't take him serious. You're a good actor. Yeah, he's a good I'm actor. Yeah, I might, I might need you on a film or something. Hey, I'm down, dude. <laughs> no, yeah. cause uh, he said, you said it too, right? What? Like that you'd be down too. Yeah, that. and uh, real quick, I want to give a shout out to um, Pierre. Porque Pierre, um, he started doing film. I went to U of H with with homeboy Pierre, 
and you know we graduated and we kept in contact with through social media and shit but um and he shot some of my music videos too but then now he does films and like one i remember one day he's like hey bro we're gonna shoot a movie you know like i have a scene and at u of h campus like if you want to come through and i was like all right i'm down you know fuck it like i, I want to be in movies bro and then like I, I didn't go i just didn't go because i don't know i didn't go but missed opportunity yeah. hey but if you have a film bro you know i'm saying currently working on stuff yeah, yeah. For, for sure um but I you think. have to tell him like ahead of time because Ron is like always no, yeah, ready. Yeah. He's like, literally, I have to get on his schedule mm -hmm. for my brand. Like today, we have to meet and talk about my designs. But I'm like, put me on your schedule. Yeah. I put that shit for tomorrow. You did? Yeah, I moved it. Oh, oh wow, I'm dead. Did That's I ask? funny. Because I thought she wasn't gonna do it. I was yeah, like, you, you were like, yeah, open. She's like it's already podcast time. Like she's not gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. For sure. Uh, I think I will let you know what like three months three but months? you yeah. like being the director <laughs> three oh, shit, three. <laughs> well no he told Quarterly. us for no, yeah, ours too yeah, oh yeah for the, for the episode yeah it was like three episode. months yeah. yeah no it was, was like it? since like december or november oh yeah three months because yeah. it's it was but, in march but in yeah, a way right? that's kind of like uh the norm right like in in film industry and shit like everything is scheduled way ahead of time and yeah. shit like that like, because you got to do the writing or whenever you think you have everything ready yeah. and you go all out you know it's like wait let me do some changes over here. Especially when you're trying to do uh, films that connect with other films. Yeah. You have to make sure everything aligns well. Because if you mess up one little thing, then the rest might get fucked up. Mm. You know, and you don't want that. Yeah. You kind of want to keep everything steady. Yeah. So, yeah, Sounds I think... Sounds like a lot of work. Sometimes it is. Sometimes I... I feel like I can't sleep because of it. I'm just like... Whoa. It's on the back of your mind. It's in the back of my mind and I have to get up and, you know, I'm just like, I'm, I'm writing it down or typing it down on my phone or something. And yeah, I mean, but it's normal. Yeah. But so you're like the producer, director? That's what... Or Pro producer, director, writer, mm. um, But you filmer. do the acting, right? Uh, or you do the acting too? I want to do the act. I, I have... We filmed a little part and I do the acting in it. Mm -hmm. I think for like a little bit of it and then you know i'll go back to directing it because it's my film it's, i'm directing the film I'm, yeah. I'm writing the film but i'm also in it and then it's hard because it's like how the fuck are we gonna do it and then luckily you know shout out to my friend angelo he, he films as well so i was like can you film these parts where i'm at and then you know whenever i'm not in it i'll take care of it you know yeah. i'll film it whatever mm -hmm. but he's very busy and understandable you know i'm busy as well sometimes we can't get it done in a month. Yeah. We'll film, and then we have to wait another month. But yeah. it's like, it's what it is, you know? Yeah, it, it is, yeah. And, it's but your, like, your filming stuff falls under Saint? Or what What was the, because you have, like, another Instagram, well, right? Well, before you get into that, like, because our, the question we were supposed to, ask, like, ask in the beginning was, like, what, what all do you do? Oh, yeah. So, oh. what way, all do you do? You know? I do... Okay, so I do photography. Mm -hmm. Well, I started off videography. Then I do, uh, I started photography, working on it, trying to, you know, see what I like, what I don't like. Yeah. Um, then the night show came out, you know, which is interviewing local artists. Um, I guess writing, directing. I vlog, I mean, I, not vlog, I record people's vlogs. Um, a friend, good friend of mine, her name is MG, and another one. Her name is Sydney. She wanted me to, you know, record her vlogs. So I film other people's stuff. You know, I edit it as well. And I'm like, hey, here's your vlog. And they post it. Um, I also design a couple shirts, drops, you know, merch drop. I don't like mm -hmm. saying brand, you know, just like merch drop, random as fuck. You know, I could be yeah. like once every two, three months. Uh, goes well, cool. If it doesn't, you know, to count yeah. my loss. Do on you it. do pre orders or do you actually have like, I do pre orders because oh, okay. it's I can I can take a loss, but I'm not gonna take a big loss, you know, and yeah. screen mm -hmm. print the the, the stuff. Shit load of them, yeah. Oh, and no, then, yeah, pre I was gonna say because pre orders I feel like it's always like yeah. the way to go. Yeah, because yeah. I saw you yeah. post the the latest one and mm -hmm. you put pre orders on that one. Yeah, that so. was pre order. Um the last mm -hmm. one was pre order too. I just forgot to put pre order. So mm -hmm. I was like, wait, like Everybody bought their stuff. Yeah, so you had and to, like, inform everybody. So, I, you know, I told everybody, like, hey, you know, just wait a little bit. And to make matters worse, my label printer broke. So, I was like, yeah. fucking shit. So, <laughs> I had to buy a new one. Um, but, yeah, I also do that, you know, clothing and all that. And, 
yeah i guess a little bit of everything yeah. I, if i can learn it cool i'll do it you yeah. know so like i said i'm trying to get into music now um but we'll see how that goes yeah we'll see yeah okay. I, I can see you doing it honestly a little bit I, of music yeah i feel like you remind me of roland because it's yeah. like no it reminds me of me too honestly mm -hmm. like literally i feel like like um he's like that too because he did the film the yeah i did film i did photography mm -hmm. i did music um i saw it all yeah i saw it all on a research thing not like <laughs> trust me it wasn't on the show on on the other show that we did yeah but it's like the whole list i saw the whole thing i was like oh he does this he does that <laughs> yeah your video that got uh viral you rebrought it back right I well, think no i i just crow. found it I, I i was on tiktok and i was like uh you said it went viral it didn't go viral no like, not off me though oh yeah like um i posted it on youtube and i posted it on i guess oh on twitter it was on twitter and then some girl picked it up and she posted it on facebook and the bitch went vi viral on facebook we mad like, no my tag is on there okay so i, was, I don't is care says, like, what does it say like shot and edited by rolly book dude literally i was like i was driving from home from work and all that man like it was a time when i was making a bunch of little short videos, videos on my phone yeah. and uh and i was like recording and everything bah, bah, and whatever i get home edit it post it like whatever you know fucking goes viral on facebook like months later and then i get on tiktok and i'm like man honestly i was like looking for tiktok ideas and i was like man what if i do like chopped and screwed sounds you know and like put sounds out there for people to use I put uh, screwed and chop shit, and then the second I put screwed and chop on search, and the second video like is my video, like I I recognize like the the thumbnail, yeah, you it's know, easy and to recognize, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like the fuck, and I press it, and then the girl like, oh, we're the throw this city out here. I don't know what I don't even talk like that, you know. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then that bitch has like twelve thousand likes. I was like, damn, the bitch is viral on TikTok. The fuck? You should have comments and you'd be like, thanks for the. I did. I'm like, oh, damn, did? yeah, I'm like, this, this is my video, you know. Like it, it went viral on Facebook. Now it's on TikTok. Fuck it, you know. But it's crazy because my my shit's on there, my mm -hmm. tag, but my well, where the fuck the followers at, you know. I hate that. I hate that so much, man. Sound like I ain't tripping though. It, it's cool. No, it's okay to trip, bro. <laughs> no to go back with what you said that you i remind you remind me i mean that yeah i remind you roland i don't know man maybe i am you with this whole multiverse shit going on bro i might be you who fucking knows yeah no. dude you have the hair that i don't fuck it nah, nah like, trust me bro i'm losing it so it's, it's all fucking good man nah um he's yeah, still got a lot of hair though roland yeah, I, yeah. He, I had my hair like that one time did you at one point yeah that one we were together yeah i had i grew it out <laughs> I grew it out. I got, didn't know he did. Like, yeah, she didn't know. I grew it out. Uh, got braids, like all the summer before eighth grade, and then second day of uh, eighth grade, I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna cut it off." Got a south side fade, total opposite, bro. Like straight up bald, little fade right here. What design? Like our son, dope he, as fuck. He dope showed as fuck, up. Bro. He showed I was up with Southeast braids gangster. to school. Milo, he showed up with braids, and then Roland ended up cutting them off. Yeah. His teachers were like, Mom, why did Dad do that? And I'm just <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Tell him, because I don't know why he did that. <laughs> yeah. You want to go on break real fast? Yeah. So, we'll be right we'll back. We'll be back, guys. That's we are back, are... guys. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in a way, like, it's cool that aside from the shit that we do, like, I guess... uh a lot of the shit that we go through is kind of like the same shit too. Like I guess off camera that you don't have time to play your video games and shit. Mm -hmm. And same here, you know, like mm -hmm. working out, all that type of good stuff. I'm sorry yeah. to put you out there, but, <laughs> but I thought that's where we were going. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was about to say that, but yeah, right. yeah like I don't even fucking work out no more. And here like, we are, man. Drinking beer. Here, here we are. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I was about to like open it, but I was just slow. Damn. But so going back to your um like everything everything you do do mm -hmm. um do you feel like it's the music industry stuff it's gonna it's in the near future for you or not not right now maybe okay well i don't know about fuck it i'll say it so i have these friends that they make music uh -huh. um i admire them you know they um they they work hard on it and they one of the guys got a house and one room studio you know, they go all out on it. They make their own stuff. And they're just really cool people. And then I, I got I get the opportunity to um to 
kind of host one of their stuff one of their stuff or mm-hmm. i don't know if it's gonna be a, a team broad a team project or one of the artists or whatever his, uh, his name's legacy and then antuano i don't know if i'm gonna do a legacy or i'm gonna do antuano um kind of like dj drama mm-hmm. i don't know if you know who he is dj yeah. drama he he did uh tyler creators and he does a bunch of you know mixtape hosting the mixtapes yeah. yeah so kind of something like that like hosting the song or whatever or mm-hmm. have a little skit like the the night show i know for a fact he said the night show would have a skit on one of his eps or one of the albums mm-hmm. and i was like cool you know i that's weird because i never thought i would listen to my voice and you know apple music or some shit yeah, yeah. but you know the stuff like that maybe a little bit but i would love to i would love to and i would probably say yes knowing me I'll probably pick something up and I'll probably test yeah. on it. And do you feel that since you're going to add more to your schedule in life, mm-hmm. are you going to stop doing one of the things you already do or just add on to it? Probably break up with my girlfriend and say, hey, man, it's not going to work. Oh, out. my <laughs> no, God. I'm just, I'm just playing. Like, I made it already. <laughs> I made it already. No, I'm just playing. Shout out her, her kind heart. She's so nice. Um, <laughs> no, um, I'll make it work. Mm-hmm. I'll make it work. Um, I feel like everything in my life, I've made it work. You know, maybe lose another hour of sleep or something but it's like i'm used to it you know this is stuff that i've been doing for so, so what does your schedule look like now like uh what time do you wake up okay so right now night show's done so we're yeah. right now writing planning whatever wake up let's start monday i guess monday wake up at seven go to work and it's not really time-based i can be back home at 12 or i can be back home late seven you know you yeah. have a full-time job it's sometime some somewhat a full-time it's not really no it's not it's no. not a full-time job it's it's an all right job oh, um okay. currently looking for a full-time job you know so we'll see how that works yeah. um so it's kind of like a part-time i would say i would let's say i get home at two three in mm-hmm. the afternoon um i will take a shower because i'm covered in like she rock and everything that's what i do and Same. then uh you do she rock? Oh, wait you do Same. it with your dad i do with my grandpa Oh. My dad used to be in it, but uh, he, do it, he he works with his dad and does like that. Do you? Damn, we're, oh we're just God. we're just we're I'm just, just alike, finding like, a bunch of like stuff. best friends or whatever. Yeah, bro, yeah. we're rocking the gold chain and everything. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, my dad used to be in it, but um, he he found better opportunities. You know, he yeah. you know, so good for him. Um, but yeah, I come home after the whole she rock work whatever, take a shower, um most likely hungry so i go get something to eat if, if it's alone or if it's with my girlfriend cool you know home cooked meal eat whatever after that um i would get a book base uh i have like three books and i'm either working on skits because mm. this new season is going to be about skits um mm. either on skits or um trying to finish the set list which, which i still not finished with it i think i need like three more guests so if you guys want to be in it hey. hit me up Hit him up. Um, Hit him up. What what Instagram account? Uh, House of Saints. The House of Saints account. House of Saints underscore underscore, or or the the Saint dot X, whichever one. I'll probably answer. Yeah, because we do have people that like you know, um, like Edgar Sensei. Mm-hmm. Um, he wants to be like. Uh, he said it right that he what? wants to be out there more. <laughs> oh, he's out there. So. <laughs> No, he's a very social person. Yeah. Like, but, but no, I get what you mean. Yeah, because yeah. he said that, and I'm like, hey, if anybody, you know, I'll, oh, you mean I'll, like podcasts, like and, yeah. and like shows, content, and all yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah, he yeah, wants yeah. that. Like he wants yeah. to, you yeah, know. Yeah, he likes speaking. He, and yeah, stuff, yeah, so he's like, I, and I, he messaged us that he's getting good feedback, and I'm like, oh yeah, like we've gotten good feedback all week. I'm like, and he's like, yeah, that. I'm like, if we find or hear anything, like I'll put your name out there. You know, mm-hmm. so yeah. you could reach out to him. I'm pretty sure he'd be down. I'll reach out to him. Yeah. Um. So you know. I'm either doing that or designing something or, you know, just trying to be busy. Mm-hmm. And then um, after that, I think it's, we're already looking at 8, 9, 10 p.m. already. Um, Walmart walks are pretty fun, honestly. They're very therapeutic to me. So I'll go to Walmart uh, with my girlfriend and we'll walk around, probably buy something or not. If we don't do that, then um, I go inside and try to think of content ideas you know what, mm-hmm. what can i do because right now i'm not posting anything and then i came up with the idea recently of a new project coming out which you know i want to feature you guys but we'll talk about it off camera because i don't mm-hmm. want to put oh, it out yeah. there yet yeah, yeah. um so that's cool so now 
I'm thinking about that. Mm -hmm. What can we do? How can I direct it? How can I film it? What kind of concept do I want to go with, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so just brainstorming. This Lately, it's just been brainstorming. Yeah, yeah. and brainstorming takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. and, and people don't realize, like, they're like... I just think people think like, oh, well, while wow, you're brainstorming, you could be doing something like when literally it's like, no, I have to sit me like I'm a multitasker. Right. But when I brainstorm for my brand, I'm literally like I have to sit down and like talk or just think and write things down or, you know, be on my phone and just keep looking. Mm -hmm. But it's not like I'm on my phone on Instagram. It's just like, no, I have to yeah. focus yeah, on it's, brainstorming. It's, it's good to like have a block of time where you can just have your ideas on paper Instead of just like one might think like oh I'm gonna brainstorm while I'm on break at work, it's not, just some, it's not you a know. Good idea. But it's like now nah, if when you sit down and you actually like all right like, you know, whatever. Yeah. No, I think well right now it's all brainstorming and brainstorming yeah. is not just a one day thing. Yeah. That could be a three day thing. For example, mm -hmm. this new job that I just came up with. Um, well let's take it back for the last job. Um, I hate the whole shipping send it we're done you know. So what I did is I put like random Polaroid pictures of like my cat that passed away a long time ago on random packages, uh, pictures of myself eating like a fucking pizza or some shit and <laughs> just send them out, you know, and I get a message back. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I was like, you want to throw it away? That's fine. I don't care. Um, I'm pretty sure a picture of me is like framed somewhere in, um, in Atlanta, Georgia right now because I got a picture of it uh, and in my cat too. That uh, is so cool. I yeah. never even thought about doing that. <laughs> so, yeah, I just put random pictures and, you know, cool, take it. If you don't, that's fine, you know. So on this next one that, you know, I just announced today and I was thinking, what can I do to be, you know, more engaged with the people who order my stuff? Cool. Scratch offs because um, my grandpa, he does a bunch of scratch offs. Mm -hmm. He wins all the time. I don't know how, but I was like, cool, let's do something like that. I went online, looked up, can I make my own custom scratch offs? Yes, you can. They're going to cost 300 bucks. I don't want, I, I'm not going to waste 300 bucks on that. Mm -hmm. What can I do to do something similar to that? It took me three days, three to four days. I fell asleep. I remember this perfectly because it was last week. I fell asleep. It was three in the morning. And then I woke up and I was like, wait, I have an idea. So I got up. <laughs> I got up. I'm talking about like in my boxers, just. Wait, like, I look crazy, you know? <laughs> I open the box of old Polaroid film that I have. I grab one that I don't need, and I grab this special. It's like acrylic paint, but it's different. I basically, you know, paint the film. Basically, like, the ones you guys have here. Mm -hmm. I paint the film. I'm like, okay, let it dry. Cool. Let me, give, let me grab a coin. Scratch it off. It works. Perfect. That's great. Now I'll have to figure out how to print out images. The winning image or the losing image let's get a device that prints out the actual picture mm -hmm. figured it out great this drop is going to do great let me find out about the the design how much is it going to cost to make because some designs cost more than others mm -hmm. you know so i think at that time where it was 3 a.m all i have left is find out how much the design is going to cost and i i get mad at myself because it's like fuck it's 3 a.m the Screen printing guy is not going to answer me. Yeah. You know, so I have to wait till the next day. So by force, I have to go to sleep because it's like, I, I can't do nothing yet. I'm, I'm blocked. Yeah. So waking up, hit up the guy. He tells me, cool, good. Now I have to worry about another thing, you know, um, which would be uh, what colors do I want? Do I want a brown t-shirt? Do I want a, a mm -hmm. black t-shirt? What blanks do I want to use? What the hell, you know? Yeah. So whenever I have my head into something... I'm stuck on it. It could take a week. It could take two. And it pisses off like my dad and mom because it's like, you're, you're stuck up there in your room. You know, you're not doing anything. Well, I kind of am, you know, I'm figuring things out. But, you know, I don't, I know they, to them, it's kind of like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's weird to them. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure you guys like. Oh, yeah. yeah, it happened to him too. Yeah. yeah. And you, it's so crazy because you said so many things and I'm just like, oh my God, like his Rowan, grandpa. Rowan. Like, yeah. Scratch offs. Scratch offs. Like, really? Yeah. Bro, I think, bro, we might be the same <laughs> fucking person. I don't know. No, no but it, um, yeah. yeah that's, and then that's, with the whole music thing too, like he said it before how uh, like his parents weren't as supportive, right? Like, yeah. There's this one specific memory I have. Um, I made a song called love won't die and then it was with slow mm -hmm. right <clears throat> he sent it to me and then uh he's like 
hey bro get on this song whatever whatever now it's like a classic bro like honestly like so in my music catalog like it's to me it's a classic song like, it's an old ass song right and then i'm like all right it's one of my favorite songs whatever but i remember recording it i used to have my mic in the closet and i recorded myself and everything on on cool edit pro so it's before pro tools before all that shit like i had to learn how to use that shit and then I remember my parents and my brothers, everybody, like, so my mom, my dad, and my two brothers were eating, uh, they were eating dinner, and then I was like, all right, I have my shit ready, let me record, you know? Yeah. I get in the closet, I don't know, I'm fucking rapping, bah, bah, bah. and my mom knocking, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, vente comer. and I was like, fuck, like, you messed me up, you know, like, yeah. I, I, and I, I stopped recording, I'm like, ahorita voy, ma, ahorita voy, down fucking uh press record again and then she's like and then my dad like yeah vente comer yeah yeah deja esa musica and i was like my god i'm like and i i go and i'm like hold on give me a second you know let me just finish whatever whatever and um and then i ended up recording the song or whatever but that memory is kind of like a core memory in a way because it's just like one of those things where it was a time when they're just like what the fuck is he doing like just fucking come eat you know and i'm just like I'll eat, but it's like let me record this shit. Like it's 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 something very important to somebody, you know. And eventually, the music did take me somewhere, and 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 I would like perform and shit, and open up for big people and shit, and and it was my main thing. It's still my main thing. Like that's that's my main um, passion, you know. But I just don't do it no more. Yeah. yeah. But for sure, it's my main thing. And uh, but my mom, yeah. Later on, they they saw like down, like he. This is something important that to him, you know. So, yeah. and I it's, think I think that's where my parents are at right now. Yeah. They see, um, they see what I do, you know. Yeah. Every time I do something, I'm like, hey, look, look at it, you know. And they just stay so like starstruck. And it's like, oh shit, you know. Yeah. And yeah, maybe to them it's weird, but they're supportive, you yeah. know. Uh, they let me borrow some stuff, you know. I know one day my mom she called me. She was like, hey, Tony los garajes, I just found one of these you yeah, want it yeah i was like hell yeah let me take it have it you know she she was like don't worry about it you know i bought it for you yeah so they're very supportive and you know i love that about them that's good so but i know at the beginning they were like what the yeah. fuck you know but one day one day you're gonna do something and it's just gonna be like it's gonna i don't know and i'll be like deuces yeah. how about we're done <laughs> no, no, but, hell no but straight up no like it's just like you're gonna end up doing something that's just gonna impress them so much and without you even wanting to impress them you know and it's just gonna be like damn is that what you did yeah uh kind of yeah like i feel like each each of them my dad has a certain mentality my mom has a certain mentality i won her over quicker than my dad you know <laughs> my dad's just like blind to I feel like in a way he's like blind to what I do, but he's now he's just very supportive. It's probably because like, you know? they come from like a hardworking yeah, country, sure. you know. It's yeah. like that's all they know. So yeah, and my mom is more of the show her proof. Like mm -hmm. not she didn't ask me like let me see proof, you know. But it's just like I show her. I'm like boom, I got I did. Let this, me see the I money. Yeah, let me see the yeah, money. Right? She would be like, she'll right? ask me like. Yeah, she'll ask her. She's like, hey, is he like making money? Like, yeah. what's going on? You know, and she's like, oh yeah, he makes money. Like, how much you make? Four K. Let me let me, uh, let me catch let me catch two hundred. Oh yeah, the, that four K. I told him I made two K on my on my birthday. I made two K. Uh, yeah. Showed mm -hmm. up showed up to their house. I was like, man, I made two K. And you're like, hold up, babe, let me make this trade. Two K, <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, yeah. I'm, I'm here in the show as a fan, bro. I watch the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch the stuff, man. This was dope, bro. Like best birthday ever, but, but sure, yeah. I'll be excited if I get four K on my birthday too. <laughs> but one day, bro, like no, you're, you're gonna see it in them, and they're gonna see it in you, and it's just gonna be like a good, a good yeah. thing, you know. Hopefully, because they're watching it. <laughs> I think they are. I don't know. I know my they mom's speak struggling. Spanish or English? My dad speaks English. My mom speaks Spanish. I know my mom's struggling a lot right now, trying to catch up. She was like, ¿Qué está diciendo? ¿Qué está diciendo? So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well we can speak tardes, Spanish. Buenas shit. noches. Buenas noches. Buenas bienvenidos. noches. Um, Tienen un hijo muy trabajador. Boom. Muy trabajador. There you go. Tell her, tell her you like my hair. She wants me to cut it. I'm oh, not no. a big. A mí no me gusta el pelo largo. Oh my lord. A ella no le gusta, pero que se quede con el pelo si le gusta. Que se lo ponga en trencitas o. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, chill, chill, chill. You fucking me over, bro. You fucking me over. Uh, that's funny. Nah. Pero si hablas español. Yeah, I do. Sí. Or oh, Spanglish. 
Huh? El Spanglish. I'm playing, I'm playing. Uh, no, si yo hablo español. ¿Sí? Uh, yeah. ¿De dónde son tus papás? De... Damn, putting me in the test. <laughs> no, um, mi mamá es... Bueno, los dos son de Tamaulipas, San Fernando. Uh, well, mi papá nació en Brownsville. Y se fue allá para pa San Fernando. Y ahí conoció a mi mamá, I think. ¿A cuántas horas son de la frontera? De... La border. ¿From us? From ¿Here? The... No, no. Uh, San Fernando. San Fernando. Dos horas, tres. Oh my God. Ellos son de Valle Hermoso. We talked about this. Yeah, we talked okay. about it on here. Yeah, but I'm just thinking like, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Evelyn later on. I can't Evelyn sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, doing... what is, where's his parents' name? Are y'all related? <laughs> yeah. I'm dead. But, um, but that's but crazy. Not, a lot of people are from where we're from though. Yeah. A shit lot of people. Like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Basics. I'm just kidding. Mm. I'm just kidding. Yeah, okay. I'm just kidding. I don't know anybody from that right, from I'm where on. you're from. Exactly. That's it's why all right, I'm not. Bro. I, I understand. That, okay. That, that's Thanks why, for the beer. That's, <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'm not basic. Because not a lot of people are from where I'm from. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'm just so, kidding. I love going to Valle, to Mexico. A, a good... Uh, man, we're just jumping around, right? Yeah. So. But a good question, I was telling her, a good question that you asked us mm -hmm. was, how do we get our guest or how do we go about getting our guest? And I want to ask you the same thing. So Me? for your, yeah, for your talk show, how do you go about getting your guests or booking them and all that? Okay. Um, well, you know, I, I see people who I find interesting, you know? So it's like, if, if I find you interesting, you know, as a person or as, as a group, you know, I, I send you a DM. I'm like, Hey. Um, so my name is so-and-so, um, I do this, I do this, you know, I interview, um, people, local creative, so-and-so, um, my, my, you know, my thing's not big, but yeah. just know that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make it big, you know, I'm trying to make it go somewhere. And, uh, if you're interested, you know, here's my number, or I would say, uh, just send me a text back and here's proof of work. Yeah. And I would send them kind of like cliche but i would send them like the best episodes that i think you know like you know just look at them you mm -hmm. know and and if they see it you know cool hey i'm interested let's do it yeah. and if you know they don't answer because i've been left on red multiple times and i understand you know yeah. um but if i make it big i'm not gonna answer i'm not gonna be like nah but yeah which is a joke but <laughs> no no i know what you mean i don't think we've been have we been left on red Oh, oh no. no! I think we've been obviously canceled on twice. With yeah. You know, um, canceled twice. Um, I've sent a DM to maybe like two people. One actually, I'm lying. One did leave me on red. At this point, we've been canceled a couple times though. And it's only been two times. No, a couple more. For real? Yeah. I don't that who. something happens or scheduling or something. I don't think we have been. Yeah. But I'll tell you off camera though, but it's not it's nothing bad. But I just don't want to. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You know, put I'm him not gonna remember, but but oh no, okay. Put him on the spot. No, I'm just kidding. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. Luckily, <laughs> luckily, I haven't been canceled. Um, but no, I've I've been left on red, you know. But yeah, yeah, that's how I would do it. You know, send him a message. Hey, you know, good afternoon, good morning. You know, I do this, this, and that. Yeah, I would love to have you on the show. Um, keep in mind it's three months away, you know, or four months. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised and I'm kind of glad you haven't had cancellations planning so far out, you know, yeah. like so far, like so ahead, because I feel like that's when people actually like cancel, cancel. You think so? Because that's what happened to us. Yeah, because I feel like now we don't they book might... anything until like where now we only we're barely starting like booking May and we're in April already, you know, but we have like a long list of people, right? But we're not going to book June anytime soon until mm -hmm. we get into like the last week of April. Yeah. Or like that, you know, just because I feel like if we schedule them too like ahead, then they'll cancel. Y'all ever plan on um, getting someone you already had on the show? Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's how that's how it is over here on my side. So it was like I was going to do it this season. I was going to invite Terry out again. Mm -hmm. um, well, the whole mania group and then um, someone else. But I was like, nah, it's too soon. You know, yeah. it's just the next season over so i was like maybe season four or yeah. maybe season five i'll be like hey you know come through yeah so. i think i would want to bring people back um but i think it'd be more if we did maybe when we have way more subscribers mm -hmm. you know maybe reach like a big milestone so like to make it 
worth their time. Worth, yeah, worth their of time. Coming back. You yeah. know what I mean? Because right now we only have, what, like 200 subscribers? I'm at 200 too. Huh? I'm at 200 too. No, it's, right now it's like 205. I'm at two. No, he's saying oh, he's, you're he's at, at 202. 202. No, I'm at two, two, three, two, two, maybe. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're like about the same. Yeah. Um, I, when you said, oh, I'm at 202, I thought you said we were at 202. I'm like, oh, no, I think we're at 205. <laughs> Oh, my bad. No. <laughs> my bad. No. no, but then he's like, that. it was for you. Yeah. No, but yeah, we're around 200, right? So I would want to bring them back at least when we have like five mm-hmm. or a thousand, you know, to make it worth their time of coming back. But or if we like, did bring them back, it'd probably be more like one of those more episodes, just like random, you know, like, okay. like we're just chilling. Huh? Or we're just chilling, actually, yeah. just drinking and talking to them. Kind of like what, what you guys do is by ourselves, kind yeah. of? Yeah, okay. like that. Or like the Halloween specials? Yeah, like yeah, that. Which I love the Halloween yeah. specials. They're fucking, yeah. they're like, I think, oh, I was going to ask, were you guys dressed up as uh, H3? No. No, because no? you were wearing Teddy Fresh. <laughs> I was wearing Teddy Fresh. And you Teddy were wearing uh, the, the no. gold wig. Yeah, but I was, uh, we were. Uh, From uh, Mean, mean Girls. Girls. Okay. So I was yeah. the guy that's like. She doesn't even go here or whatever. He wears a hoodie and shit. But and I was the but I was wearing Teddy Fresh. Yeah, yeah, he was. Shout out H three H three. No, no, yeah, um, yeah. Like you see, you knew the girl that was on like that one, Giselle. That's Santi's mom. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so okay. it's like, yeah. and it's cool because her mom is my madrina, and then her daughter, which is my cousin, is madrina of our son. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's all chill. But no, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that'll be like a good way to, you know, bring them yeah. back or whatever. And I have two questions for you. So the first one is, fuck, what was my first question? Let me ask you the second question. Okay. The second question is, how do you, how do you go about seasons? Because we don't do mm-hmm. seasons. Yeah, we don't. I feel like we're just, on, we're episodes. just going to like keep on going. Yeah. So what makes you like. Two seasons? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, I think the reason why I wanted to do seasons was because, um. I wanted, like, a break in between. Because a break is so important, you know? Yeah, it is. It's, um, yeah, it's cool. You you know, you're doing something every week, you know, which kudos to you guys. That shit's fucking amazing. No, but, remember I told you we are going to take a break, too. Oh, yeah? You didn't tell me that. No, yeah, I said we're only recording three Fridays out of the four well, now. a break oh, from no, 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 guests. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. no. Oh, like, I like, see. Yeah. Oh, no, But he we're takes not doing a break, that. break, like, oh, no, yeah. I see. No, so, we're not doing that. I, yeah, I feel like mental health is like very important yeah. so it's like mm-hmm. imagine like one day you just hit a block you know let's say mm-hmm. you just hit a lot of creatives and let's say your connections are done what the fuck are you gonna do right now you know what are you gonna do that's something i don't want to go through you know that's something i don't want to be like fuck you know i'm, I'm unprepared mm-hmm. i'm gonna have to skip over this episode or i don't want to do like three four episodes of me by myself you know i try avoiding those because mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. like i don't know what to talk about you know yeah um have you asked like on your stories like who oh, wants to be in the show no like uh oh if it's an episode by yourself like t- to give you topics uh i have um but sometimes they don't say anything or sometimes mm-hmm. it's oh, yeah. just like oh and this isn't that and then but it is harder whenever you, it's just like us right yeah because it's a little just, bit yeah, yeah. just because i mean i feel now at first it was a little bit harder but now i feel like i feel more confident and like having more conversations yeah you know? But I, I, but you're by yourself, so I yeah. see why it would be like. Yeah, no, I think I started off like that. I started my first two episodes, which are on IGTV, or me by myself with the shitty ass quality mic that I didn't even know. Like, okay, cool, you know. Um, and I felt like a lunatic. I felt like I was talking to myself. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I posted it still. I was yeah. like, cool, you know, whatever. And that was my most viewed and then mm. uh which was so weird i was like what the fuck it hit no. uh 800 views and i was like cool i'll keep on doing it you know mm. but um to answer your question yeah you know i i like taking breaks because i feel like it's important and also because i want to worry about other stuff okay. like the drops you know yeah, or yeah. Um, photography or short films you know won't be able to do that if i'm too busy filming mm-hmm. you know guest that's stuff true. so no yeah that's true i felt like i just had a an epiphany is that what it's called what what's an epiphany i don't know an idea i'm thinking about taking breaks soon of what you, you can handle this by yourself handle what this podcast no, i'm just playing now as far I'm as my other damn. as far as my other shit like because uh i i feel like i'm very good about uh my scheduling and shit like that now yeah you know, my schedule is always like 
but hearing you about that because i guess i'm scared to take breaks because i want to I, wa- I know where you're going with i want to grow all everything you know mm-hmm. but then i'm like okay I'm, I'm gonna just say like essential like the rugs uh the the design and the brand mm-hmm. i'm constantly working on all three every week every day i'm constantly working but if I was to take a break from this, it doesn't take away from these two because I'm still active on mine. Like, I'm still, like, posting about these, boom, boom, boom. But I'm just, like, kind of, like, taking a break from this. Mm-hmm. Once I pick this up and drop this, like, my face is still going to be out there. My work is still going to be out there. You know what I mean? But but at the same time, I'm, I'm just kind of, like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't want to take a break, but... I don't feel like I work myself too much to where I I feel like I need, need a to take yeah. a break. You know what, what I mean? What is considered like a break for you? Like a time period? Honestly, honestly, a month is good. Two months. But I take, like, for example, I'm not filming till October. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, like, I want to I wanna do other stuff, you know? Yeah. I want to do um, just other stuff, you know? Maybe the music stuff comes in. And between those three months, who knows, you know? Yeah. And I will say one of the hardest things about taking a break is coming back to it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That is the hardest thing because this new, this season two, it was so hard to come back to it. It really was. Um, but I got lucky. I got um, I got invited to um, this, what was it? Uh, this vintage market. And I went, you know, and I was like, okay, cool. What can I do here? It was originally going to be just a separate video, mm-hmm. but I was like, wait, what, what the fuck am I doing? Let's do see uh, the season two premiere here. And I did. And it came out like it's probably one of my favorite episodes because it was just weird. It was something I've never done before and mm. uh, going around talking to all these people and then connected with them. And now they became like somewhat good friends. Now I know that if I go to Petty Cash, they'll be like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, let's film something. If yeah. I go to... Uh, sandman studios or um you know other stuff they'll be like hey i know you come through mm. i follow you hey let's do it yeah so yeah that was like i think the motivation was from the people they were like yeah. i fuck with your shit that was really cool let's do it again yeah yeah hmm. I'm gonna break. yeah you want to do the Say it. no oh i was gonna say i didn't know if you wanted to just uh stop it and go no? We can do that, but we'll be right back. Well, we are back, guys. Hello, we're back. <laughs> um, my second, you, my, say, my you remember yeah, the first question. The first question was uh, it has to do with like the whole getting your guests and everything, because okay. the way you were saying like you reach out to them and everything. Mm-hmm. There was a point in time when I was trying to get prospects uh, for my design mm-hmm. stuff, and I was sending them like I was sending people messages like boom, 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 like trying to get design clients. Uh, it was when I had recently quit my job and I went full time and shit like design. And then I go back to some of those people and I look at the message I sent and I thought it was very professional. And I'm like, man, it's like, you know, I'm trying to get these clients and I'm like, man, it looks so spammy. You know, like it was it was a hella long message. And I just felt like, man, maybe that's why I got left on red or maybe that's why they didn't respond because it felt spammy. Mm-hmm. So do you feel like you come off you not not you uh, like personally but like do you feel like they might see the message and be like i don't know if it's real or yeah. do you know or how do you feel um about that? i will say not to call anybody like okay so the only people that left me on red i'm not gonna put them out there but they have like <clears throat> 10 to like i think one of them has like 129k or something but i went to school with her you know mm-hmm. so it's like i know you you know so I sent her the message. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know, whatever. She left me on red. That's perfectly fine. And it's only those two people. And they're the two with the highest count followers. Mm-hmm. And a little bit of me wants to be like, maybe like they feel like they're too good or whatever, which yeah. I understand. You know, if, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. Um, But I think that was just them. Maybe, maybe I came out as weird you know yeah. like oh that's probably a fake message because we get those a lot i don't know if you guys yeah. get those too mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. hey you know so and so we want to work with you whatever it's bullshit you know yeah. so maybe 
but it's like no but i think if you know them then it's probably maybe because they think they are like either yeah. too good yeah or they don't have time because to me like for i feel like this much more is always going to be available um to upcomers you know like if you just start in your your business our thing is more we want to get people that we know are gonna stick to it we don't want to get somebody that's like oh i'm gonna start doing you know this. yeah like let's and say somebody then, starts to craft and we're like oh that's badass like we should get them on the podcast and then it's just like two months later they don't oh i'm quitting next year by the way so yeah no, I'm fine. Oh, I'm God, no, no, I'm gonna cancel the whole show. No, no, no. Cancel I, the no, show. I don't. I don't yeah. see myself. Um, but see, like you, on. I feel like um, if you're my twin, you're gonna stick stick with this shit. My bad. Bro. You know? No, not specifically that. But I feel like even if you stop doing the filming, I feel mm. like you already know what your next step is. You yeah. want to do the music. You're staying busy, you know, yeah. and that's what we love to see. Like we love to see people just fucking working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, not working, but like you know, doing yeah, yeah, what yeah. they love, you know, and. Mm-hmm. If they enjoy it, then they enjoy it, you know. Yeah. But yeah, um. For but sure. yeah, that's that's one of the things. I don't think even if we have like, obviously, like you know, we had Chingo Bling on here. He's like our top. I feel like uh, he has a shit ton of followers. You know, um, I was nervous for that one. Houston yeah. legend. You know, but um, then I talked when I you know met him before we started doing it. Like, he made me feel better, you know, because he made me feel like he wasn't too good for this. Yeah. He was like giving us props with the whole like office mm-hmm. yeah. space, you know, and then he's talking about our house. And now know? he's sending us references like other people. Like, yeah. yeah. And see, but if we like, and like I said, like this much more is always going to have be available for those who yeah. have only 200 followers for mm-hmm. 500. Like, you know. Yeah. Because we talked about it. We were like, what's going to happen once we like, like kind of like Chingo Bling like was like, boom, like a step. A step up in a way you know what i mean mm-hmm. and it's like okay what if he ends up getting us baby bash or he ends up getting us just some crazy celebrity you know and we're just yeah. like all right and i don't want people to be like fuck like i wanted to get on that podcast but now they're gonna do like like big people yeah, yeah. and i'm yeah. like nah like it's gonna it's gonna have everybody like i don't give a fuck you know like who it's our podcast like i don't give a shit who's yeah. on there. Like, there's no rules yeah. and i, f- I feel like i limited myself on that because I call, I say, like, Houston creatives. But I was like, fuck. What if I want to do someone who's not even from Houston, you know? Yeah. what? So, I think this new season, um, if not this new season, we're going to the next one. Um, I have, like, these connections with, like, these people. Mm-hmm. And then, um, they're like, one of them one of them's like a TikToker or whatever. And he's from here. But mm-hmm. he's living in LA right now. So, I was like, how is that going to look? when i say houston creatives you know yeah i so, know exactly who you're talking about okay cool so <laughs> um i'm like okay i'm gonna shift to like it's an open thing now and we have a plan to go to cali next year mm. so we want to see i want to see what can i do to you know work over there and do the night show over there how is it gonna look i wonder how it's gonna look yeah. is it gonna be another um walking around talking to random people type of deal because um santa monica pier they have a lot of you know people who i won't say homeless they're not homeless well maybe they might be but they came from other countries or other states or you know cities to pursue their dreams yeah. and i remember this one guy he was a, he has a good voice so, you know he played he was playing his guitar and he came from missouri and he was like came all the way from missouri to follow my dreams mm-hmm. and he was playing his guitar his guitar so what what if I go there, talk to people like that? Hey, I do the show. I'm from Houston, but we're starting to be more open. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. up? Yeah. So I think maybe in the next season or maybe season four or season five, hopefully, you know, I'm pretty sure I'll get there. It'll, it'll be an open nation type of deal. You know, mm-hmm. I visited Cali. Um, I went to Oregon a couple months ago and then some people followed me from Oregon and they're photographers and all that. Cool. I'll, I'll, I'm down to go again yeah. you know, to talk to them. But no, you're right. I think you don't want to like just n- close your thing to just Houston, you know? Mm-hmm. Because yeah, because that I feel like that's a um, uh, I feel like that's a big thing. Like where even with Terry, Terry was talking about it too. He was like, we didn't just want to be like Texas vintage or Texas or Houston vintage store or some shit like that. They wanted something like where it could just pick up from anywhere. And same with us. That's why Superior Style is not... I mean, it's Superior HTX because, you know, HTX. But 
So Paris Styles, I don't do like Houston designs, I don't, you know, shit like that. This is much more, it's not like, oh, the Houston podcast or, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. we're Houston based and we're going to, you know, represent the city and stuff. But we do want to have people from other places, just just like you're saying, you know what I mean? And as, as I feel like a lot of people want to, if you put Houston in the name or if you put Texas in the name or whatever, you're going to blow up in your city, but once that happens, like, what's going to happen after that? You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I see the big vision. I see, like, you want to be out there type shit. Like, you want to go to Cali and, and and yeah, and blow up over there and have them not look at you like, ah, he's not even from here. Like, I'm not I'm not going to give him time of day or whatever. But, yeah. but you know, I want to <clears> do, I really want to give you big, big props because you're, re- you're young. And I'm not saying you're really young, but you're 22 years old. Like, yeah. you know, not a lot of 22 year olds have a lot of shit going on mm-hmm. like you do. Thank you know you. what I mean? Like, I, I really think it's, it's really good. And just, you know, you have a good head on your shoulders, yeah. you know, because you, you work a lot, you know. Thank you. You have a lot going on. And I can see you popping off, like, you know, yeah. in the yeah. future or whatever. And that's Hopefully also, in the near future, you know. But yeah. I can see it oh, happening, thank you. you know. But that's also well, that's also one thing I want to talk to you guys about. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. After. There's so much to talk about after the yeah. podcast yeah. now. <laughs> but no, it's like, I lo- so I love working with people who I know that we can have something afterwards. Mm. I don't, like, I don't want it to be just, oh, we're done working, we're done filming, we're done doing this, you know, um we're done i don't know you you don't know me we'll leave it at that Mm -hmm. so there's some i I gave you the idea i'm pretty sure you talked to evelyn about it um for the day in the life i don't know if you have i I haven't even talked to her about it okay cool well i'll I'll talk to you about it afterwards (laughs) um so i want to do stuff like that there's other stuff i want to do you know i have this list what can we do together you know as as me with an entrepreneur me as with an artist or whatever the list goes on mm-hmm. and Not i think yet. i have like two options you know three with you guys mm-hmm. so i was like i feel like it would work out because because of this and much more yeah <laughs> no, I'm playing that. fuck no <laughs> cut that shit off no okay but um but you get what i mean right yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. so you know we'll, we'll talk no, about but i see what you're saying you know um that's why i i know we were going a lot of off topic and then we had the mosca the fly happening in the first part you know he's dead by the but, way but yeah oh, man, r.i.p bro. but you know uh, that's why i love this this like the podcast because it's not like we're not interviewing you but we're getting to know you either literally on our notes i put personal like on a personal level you know because this is gonna help us you know build connections where it's just not like oh you know this and that it's just like not like you know like if anything like let's work together you know a lot can happen you Mm -hmm. know the connection is there yeah let it not die let it continue yeah in a way that's what this is this is like an introduction to a friendship a relationship where it's not because i feel like when people do interviews which is not a bad thing you know but it's just to get like all right like i had i had saint on here got his you know q and a's and shit and all right he's out like i got good content you know what i mean but like when you come here and talk just about regular shit or or everyday life but we still touch base on everything you do but then kind of bring it back to like Mm -hmm. just everyday shit you know Mm -hmm. i feel like that's what down the line we're gonna be like man you know we should get saint back on the on the podcast or or hey invite him invite yeah. him to this party or halloween special <laughs> okay halloween special, hey, halloween special. So i halloween fucking love special. him you know yeah no yeah but, because like i feel like when you get to know somebody aside from what like business wise you mm-hmm. know everything they do then that's how you build the relationship and that's yeah. how you know whether you, if you're like if you actually like a person or not because mm-hmm. you can relate or even if you don't relate it's just you know Okay. Based off how they are as a person, you know. Well, yeah. I'm gonna ask y'all something. When I leave, are you gonna talk shit about me? Or are you gonna be like, he's really cool? Well, I can't talk shit about you because you remind me of Roland. <laughs> <laughs> I just I like found it. I just found the ultimate cheat code right there. And I'll be like, I can't have another me in this world, man. <laughs> nah, so he. <laughs> I'm, I'm unique. What the fuck? Man? I go to my house. I see him outside with a fucking bat. Oh, <laughs> hey, bro, what you doing? How'd you beat me to my house? How'd bro? you beat me to my house? That, <laughs> but honestly, but you know it's so funny though that what we do say that reminds us of you is your friend. What's his name? Which one? Waddle. Yeah, why don't? Oh my him? god, I was so I was crying. I always laugh like. All right, all right, because <laughs> all right. Well, we did his show. If y'all haven't checked out his like our episode on his show, Go check it out. It's pretty dope. But uh, 
you know what we're talking about right the when you're like oh is that little kid fucking, from the, the corner or the whatever? shot the gunshots oh okay. oh my god so, oh my god it was she so always funny. brings that up because she's like thinks it's so funny because waddle right no wait 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 el chinito no or the curly no. hair the curly okay, hair. cool, cool okay. yeah yeah because he wanted to go to the restroom oh. you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's so funny bro like he's like hey you got a restroom he's like oh yeah bro yeah just go outside yeah go outside you know as soon as he was about to reach for the door <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Yeah, the fucking gunshots <laughs> he, he, never mind <laughs> yeah close as fuck bah, bah, bah. and then he's like <laughs> and we're like what the fuck like whoa it's after we recorded right yeah, it's after we, we're, yeah we were done we're just chilling and then uh he's like bah, bah. and then you're like that's probably the neighbor bro he's like just go just go and he's like i already went <laughs> Oh. He's like, I think I already win. Like, I was like, yeah. oh, no. and then the, your other friend walks he in, scared, right, scared as scared shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because he's from he's from a white neighborhood, bro. So oh. he's not used to that shit. To me, you I'm know, just we are we're used to it. Yeah. So we were like, I don't, I mean, I don't know if you could tell, but we're like, ah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was right. just like, oh, yeah, yeah. No. yeah no. But that's right now. Like, you're in you're in a you're dangerous like, territory, bro. Yeah, should I move my car? <laughs> no, not not the neighborhood, just like the main street or whatever. Because there's like a bar and the club or whatever, but. But yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. But yeah, you could tell he was fucking scared. And I always tell him, like, when we talk about it, like, or I'll just randomly bring it up. I'm like, oh, my God, it was so funny. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty funny. Because he was like. That shit was wild, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I was like, damn. That shit was it, close. Yeah, it, was it was close. close. Yeah. yeah, that's the only know, thing. Man. I don't know what's going on. I don't <laughs> care. I'm just like, mm, whatever, yeah. you know. I'm just shooting my night show. He wakes up at three in the morning. Is that everything's going in his mind like it, you know working <laughs> yeah. you know and then there's gunshots and he's not even paying attention because mm. he's so busy trying to get honestly like, <laughs> the ink on the polaroid <laughs> basically fucking no it's happened like yeah, i yeah. um i think yeah I just do normal mm. shit and i hear gunshots yeah, so I'm just cool. whatever, you know. As long as they don't fuck with me, we're good. Yeah. You know? yeah, I'm no, not gonna do nothing. We're about the it. same thing. So it's like, I mean, yeah. people are just, you know, yeah. whatever. But overall, um, did you have something else? I don't mm-hmm. think we did, right? No, that's pretty much do it. Do you have but... anything coming up that you might? This is gonna drop. Um, let me Damn, see. I don't even know because it's episode thirty-one. Yeah, and then this is ours. Ours, is. Michelle's the twenty fifth. It, it it makes no sense for us to keep announcing the because it's already dropping when oh, it okay, drops. Yeah. You know, like. Well, I was gonna say, tell him oh, like because no. so, you know uh, in case you had something happening May or April, then you could announce it right now. Oh, that's true. That's true. May, May, I'm doing a podcast. Mm. So basically, to go back on that, you know, the night show, it's about creatives and all mm-hmm. that. And I kind of, kind of want to have people over, like friends, you know. Yeah. So, whenever you guys left, we filmed the first ever like practice podcast episode, and it was fun. We talked about a bunch of nice stuff, but yeah. I was using an SD card that only had like somewhat memory, and mm-hmm. we got our whole episode ready, but it couldn't get the rest of that whole episode. So I was like, okay, it sounds good, it's cool, but. Mm-hmm. We, we couldn't get it so in may we're gonna get some podcast episodes uh saint fm mm-hmm. so we're gonna do a couple you know talk about anything we want to talk about mm-hmm. i can have anybody you know so there's that i think in may i'm gonna do another drop i don't oh, know okay. maybe okay. another drop well if anything um it will put your uh, instagrams yeah. you know i did have one question though like what are your like what's your overall if you have any like overall goals, overall vision for everything you're doing, like do you have an an end goal or is it ongoing or or what's your deal with that? Mm-hmm. I, I I've never seen it like oh I wish I was I wish I could be big as fuck you know but I'm pretty sure everybody thinks like that a little bit even even when you don't want to a little bit of you is like oh I wish this blows up you know mm-hmm. which that's everybody's goal yeah. but mm-hmm. I think honestly that's a really good question. Uh, the overall goal, just to leave my name, mark my, you know, I want to leave a mark, you know, mm-hmm. who's saint? It's this guy, you know, oh, there's this guy, the saint. Mm-hmm. So I want to leave a mark. I think that's something right now. If I blow up, cool, you know, if I don't, it's fine because I love doing it. I've met a bunch of amazing people doing it, you know, um, 
great opportunities. I've had a lot of opportunities. You know, look look where I'm at. I'm sitting here with you guys, you know, and never would I thought, you know, I'll be doing a show with someone else. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, I just enjoy doing it. But, yeah, I mean, if, if it blows up, cool. If um if I make, like, my six figures in the future, you know, doing all of this, that would be great, awesome, yeah. you know. I guess my goal would be, you know, not work in a nine-to-five and actually focus more on this yeah. type of stuff you know well i think the way you're going it'll happen is there anybody in the same space that you're in that you look up to or motivates you this is gonna sound very cliche but honestly you guys no like <laughs> oh, that's like, cliche no nah, <laughs> okay all right uh no 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 no, no. This show's over no no no, <laughs> no really really um because okay the reason why i say that is because like how i said it you guys you guys are a power couple you know you guys work on this shit together you know yeah. it, and you know how he is and you know how she is you know, yeah. busy wise you know you understand when he's busy mm-hmm. and you understand when she's busy yeah and then both of you i feel like what connects both of you is not marriage but it's it's your child you know so yeah. it's like you both go into that mode where it's like okay we have to worry about milo you know and then work about yeah. other stuff so for sure you guys, you know, I you guys inspire me when it comes to how consistent you guys are with stuff. You know, every week, every week, every week. I fucked up in a couple of weeks where I was like, okay, mm-hmm. I can't upload this video yet. I'm let me wait three more days because of editing issues or whatever. Yeah. Um. So you guys, on that, um, shout out to Legacy as well and Antoine. They both, um, Antoine has a child. They're both artists. Yeah. Legacy, he stepped up to be a dad he you know he stepped up to be a stepdad doing a great job and now he has not one of his own on the way you know and they're still working with their music and doing yeah. stuff so seeing that is just insane to me you know because i don't have a child and i don't plan on having a child anytime soon you know because I, I feel like i can't you know not right now mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so them and yeah i mean they they creative wise them daily wise my dad you know working yeah. hard working hard every day to provide for us you know yeah. so if this doesn't work out that's fine you know yeah. uh, i don't mind working a nine to five yeah. you know but I, I know for a fact i'm still gonna have that creative side mm-hmm. so i don't know we'll see how that works out yeah yeah because no. you know being creative just can go like so many directions mm-hmm. you know so but i mean yeah. shout out to your dad you know for him being like a I guess uh, an inspiration to you, yeah. like with that, yeah. you know. And appreciate the the love you have for yeah, us. For I us. mean, I mean, it's crazy to hear, you know, because we. I feel like we just do this like just on some trust regular me. shit. Bro. Yeah, trust me, I, I get that. I think you guys know um, Gilbert Soul. Yeah, he was he was telling me some special words, and I felt that to heart. I was like, damn, you know. And he was just telling me like that my compliments to him meant the world to him. You know, he just know oh, this means a lot coming from you. And then someone else, you know, other people told me, like, I inspire them. I think I was going through it and I posted it on my story mm-hmm. or on, on my post. And I was just honest. I was like, I'm not in the spot I want to be. Yeah. You know, and I know um, Sensei was talking about it on like whenever I don't, I'm pretty sure like three episodes before me um, that sometimes people don't post like, oh, all the negative and bad negative. But it's like, that's not me. You know, I was reading. I was like, well, that's crazy because. I'm comfortable doing it. I'll go ahead and say, you know, I'm not, I'm going through it right now. Mm-hmm. I almost gave up the night show. I almost gave up everything because um, it's just life. Mm-hmm. But I got over it. I was, at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? No, you know, I'm, I may be like my biggest, you know, supporter myself, but mm-hmm. I have to keep in mind, you know, I'm my biggest enemy as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's true. So I think, you know, it's just life you know just keep going honestly but yeah i don't even know where the fuck i was going with that hey it got deep it got deep it it got deep i almost cried and everything (laughs) (laughs) no no but yeah man um thank you guys for having me it's really fucking awesome being here it's crazy it's cool having you joining us you know it was you know but it was also fun when we went to yours because it was very different you know yeah uh because i was like but when we were behind the the little the 
curtains mm-hmm. or whatever. And then uh, you were like, oh, act like you're like this. Act like you're crap. To, act like you fucking hate the show. I know I like, could I, not I, act. And I'm like, damn, I look cold, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, you were like this. Yeah. No, yeah. That, those, that was like a tiny skit. I was like, yeah. well, No, well, but I think that's so cool. Like, you know. Originally, if COVID was still bad, originally one of the guys was going to be dressed up in a whole hazmat suit. Oh, really? And he was going to come and be like, COVID testing, just spit on the cup halfway right. through the show. And then, um, <laughs> but we couldn't, we couldn't find the hazmat suit in time. So I was uh, like, fuck, we can't do that. Let's yeah. do something else. Mm. But yeah, he was going to come and be like, can you guys spit on the cup? Yeah. And then <laughs> later on, he'll be like, one of you, ha- one of you guys have so, so and so, but since both of you skipped on, I mean, spit on the cup, I can't tell which one it is. Oh. <laughs> so just don't my tears, but yeah, yeah. yeah uh, hopefully a lot more skits in the future. Yeah. Do you and ever it- just write them down? Mm-hmm. and then do you just go back and do you like do you ever think like well damn i'm glad i didn't do this mm-hmm. right yeah because I, I wasn't bro so i didn't know if to do that skit also because i was like what if they fucking like I was like, what if what if Rolly beats the shit out of you right there because i don't know because it, you know it's that, weird. yeah the Cause. poll with the favorite host which by the way shout out to everybody who voted for me because that's the correct answer but wow. everybody who voted for roland whatever but um what was i gonna say um damn i forgot we were talking about oh i told him i was like people i when i told him he's like i think you said should i put the favorite host right and i'm like no because they're not gonna vote for me they're gonna vote for you and Mm -hmm. he's like no they're gonna vote for you and i'm like no they're not because they're gonna be like well if i vote for evelyn it's gonna be disrespectful (laughs) you know maybe i'm not the favorite you know but I told him they're, the guys aren't gonna vote for me because they're gonna feel like if they vote they're gonna. Like, I tried to gonna... answer. I, I answered every question, and then when I saw that one, I was just like, <laughs> and I skipped it. I was just like, keep on going. Because honestly, all the votes that I got were from girls, yeah, and the ones he got were from guys. It's kind of so. Nice. What's funny though is that I think the after we did your show, I think we had a brand meeting the next day, right? The show? Uh, no, because his was on a Thursday. We do Thursday, yeah. Well, then that Thursday. Saturday. The Saturday, huh? But Robbie Rob was at as our uh, he was in our meeting. Shout out Robbie Rob, and uh, he's like, "Hey, how did the Saint the how did the Saint show go?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's cool, bro." And I'm like, uh, "He's like, did did he have y'all do a skit?" I'm like, "Yeah, we did a skit," and I was like looking all cold and shit. And then he's like, and he started laughing. I did you mention it to him that I told gonna- him I was like uh, that I told him that I wanted to focus more on skits, yeah. and then I was like, you know what, maybe I'll probably do like. I'll probably make Rolly and, and Evelyn do a skit. I just don't know what. And yeah. I told him. I told him the skit, the one I just told you. Uh-huh. Yeah. But then I started like, eh, I don't know. And yeah. then we couldn't find a suit. And I was like, it's not meant to be, bro. Yeah, because he was like, man, he's he's like, when he told me, bro, I was like, oh, I don't know if Rolly's going to do that, you know, that and all this but shit. But you know, it, it would be more of a chance that he would do it over me. Would it? Yeah, yeah. because he likes to act. Mm-hmm. He likes yeah. to do all that no, stuff. No, but as a thing, I wouldn't tell you. I wasn't going to tell you anything. We were just going to be like, let's do the show. And then halfway through or somewhere, hey, uh, I'm with the so-and-so, you know, my <laughs> COVID regulation. I, mean, I think I it would have been. I would big ass loogie or some shit. <laughs> I think, honestly, I would have been like, what the hell is going on? Am I getting punked? No, punked? <laughs> because look, okay, so I know we're trying to cut the time already, but no. on my first episode, uh, my first guest, like, I was like, let's make it into a fever dream, you know? So... We were in my room and my windows right here. And I told my brother, I was like, hey, I'm going to knock on the window and just give me like flashcards or whatever. Cool. So we're talking like we're talking now. And then I was like, well, you know, it's not a talk show without cue cards. So I slammed on the fucking window <laughs> and he and I opened the window and all you see is a hand stick out. Yeah. Give me the cards. Now and he was like, what the fuck? You know, he was like, uh-huh, where am yeah. I? <laughs> so that's that's it's the so ne- that's that's what's coming that's what's coming that's on the new season i you know? honestly yeah. think you should do it you know like yeah. just maybe give like a warning and be like oh something's gonna happen yeah but so they don't know if they walk away i'm still keeping the episode i'm just like okay let's keep the episode <laughs> yeah. you know we'll see yeah, how it goes but, but uh <laughs> tell them your instagrams where they can find you um so my personal which you guys don't have to follow because it's just me but it's uh the saint dot x um and then my creative Instagram is House of Saints underscore underscore. Um, that's where all the good stuff is at. Um, all my links are there. We're both, you know, um, to YouTube, OnlyFans, and all that. Not fun. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll we'll have most of, all his information will be in the description below. Uh, thank you for so, watching. Don't forget to subscribe because don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow. Yeah. Um, and thank you for Damn, joining us. I have something us. in my eye just now. But yeah, fucking subscribe. 
for us, follow our Instagram, follow our TikTok because I'm fucking posting clips on that shit. I'm trying to blow that shit up mm-hmm. for sure. And uh, also, merch on the way. I don't know if you guys are watching right now and it's out now or I don't yeah, know if it's yeah. not, but <laughs> merch on the way for sure. But yeah, appreciate you coming, bro. Yes. Thanks for the invite. Uh, it, was a good it was a good episode. So y'all say that to everybody. Shut up. It was a good episode. <laughs> I mean, I, if, I if think... you can get a laugh out of us, or if you can just like, yeah, we killed yeah. a fucking fly on it, man. On, on it, okay. Yeah. On this episode, bro. Yeah, plot, plot twist: I brought the fly. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, <laughs> put me to the test. I'm Put a fucking to the test. murderer, bro. <laughs> no, that's no, right. a joke. Thank well, you for watching. Right. Peace. <laughs>